Hi, so just a quick video to introduce to you Baumer's new OC50 basic contrast sensor. So you can see here, standard size, you've got your two mounting holes on the side, you've got your LEDs, middle one for ready go. Uh, the first LED here is the output LED and the last LED here indicates the delay settings has been activated or not. You've got your working lens here, which emits the light, which hopefully you can see on my white mark here. It's got an interchangeable direction of where the light can come out. So you can see here, if I unscrew this lens here and change where the light comes out. So simply screw and unscrew the areas here. You can now have the light emit from the sensor from the bottom rather than out the side. So it's perfectly interchangeable, very easy to set. Just set the mark and the background and you're off and ready to go. It's got a standard response speed of 33 microseconds and an optional delay, which you can put on the output of 20 milliseconds. It produces a beam spot of five mil by one and a half mil at nine mil. And also you've got plus or minus three mil from that nine mil distance. You also have the option to change the lens to an 18 mil lens, which will give you a bigger working distance and produce a nice sharp beam spot for you. So this one produces a, a vertical uh, line, as you can see, like I said, five mil by one and a half mil when it's set at the right distance. Very simple and easy to use and perfect for your registration eye mark detections. So now onto the practical demonstration. You can see here, I've got a sheet of paper just with some registration marks on, some clear black uh, to white uh, contrast difference. Um, I've purposefully put a lighter gray uh, registration mark on here, just to see what the sensor can deal with and to show what it can deal with if you want to also pick up on slightly lower contrast sensing. The sensor is uh, mounted uh, nine mil away from the target here, giving us a beam spot size of about five mil by one and a half mil, which hopefully you can see that slight blue tinge, which is a mixture of red, green and blue light, as previously mentioned. So to set up the sensor, all you do is index over to your registration mark that you want to pick on pick up on uh, as standard uh, from the factory the sensor is designed to pick up on dark marks on light backgrounds and this is called dark mode so all you do is for setup purposes is press and hold when you're on the mark the mark for a few seconds, we wait for the lights to disappear. Then we index over to your background and we tap background. When the green light, the ready go LED, which is the middle one, turns on and steady, that means your setup is ready to go. And you see that the beam spot has actually changed color. So the sensor automatically detects out of the red, green, and blue array that it sends out, which is the best light combination to pick up on the registration mark stably. And off we go. So the first LED here gives the output. The middle LED will give us ready go, that the sensor is ready to perform the task that you want. And the last LED will indicate whether the 
delay setting has been activated. So you've got an optional 20 millisecond uh, delay that you can have on the output. Okay, so off we go. So onto the registration mark, and you can see that the output turns on very clearly there. And on the background, output off, on the mark, output on, again on. And we move over to our lighter registration mark, and you can see the output turns on for that there. So there we go. You can see working very well at good speeds on and off on our registration marks. So the sensor can deal with plus or minus three mil worth of movement. So if I move the sensor back a little, you can see the output turns on on our registration mark there. And again, on here as well. So the response speed uh, as normal is 33 uh, microseconds. And it has a jitter of 25 microseconds. So very good and very repeatable for mark detection. Now, to activate the delay settings, all you have to do is press and hold the mark and background buttons together for two seconds, one, two, and you can see that that third LED has now come on. And so now that is activated. And then the output will come on and delay to come off for 20 milliseconds. So really only noticeable when you're working with very fast applications. And to turn it off again, simply all you do is press and hold mark again, and mark and background again for a couple of seconds. And you can see that the third LED, the red one has turned off. And we're back to our normal detection again. So maybe you can see as I move the sensor across the registration marks, that it turns on and off as soon as it comes off and onto the background from the registration mark. Whereas with the delay on, it stayed on for a slightly bit longer, which you can see from the output LED there. So just to summarize, here we go. We have the Baumer basic contrast sensor, the OC50 here. Nice and simple to use and set up. Uh, interchangeable lens for greater distances. It gets shipped with a 9mm lens. You can choose a uh, different lens to have a greater distance. Uh, you can change the position of the lens, so either the beam can be emitted down from the sensor or out from the top of the sensor. Super simple to set up with your two teach buttons for the mark and the background. Nice LED um, display to tell you when you've seen the mark, also whether the health status of the sensor is, and also whether your delay activation has been uh, activated. It's got a nice fast response speed of 33 microseconds with the optional uh, delay activation of 20 milliseconds on that output. So perfect for the print mark recognition uh, applications, in printing or packaging industry, uh, controlling of processes for label and tag position, uh, cutting, gluing, folding type applications. Super simple to mount, pretty industry standard size. The This unit here itself has both PMP and NPN outputs on board. So pin two here is the NPN output and pin four is your PMP output. So one model does all, 
Super simple to set up, very interchangeable and very easy and intuitive to teach.